diseases of sweet potato so now we'll see the list of important diseases in uh, sweet potato so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, sweet potato the first one is a black rat which is caused by cystis fimbriata stem rot and wilt which is caused by fusarium oxysporum pharma species bellatus and uh, rhizophus soft rot which is caused by rhizophus uh, stolonifer scurf which is caused by monilichitis infectants uh, and charcoal rot which is caused by macrophomena fasciolina and bacterial soft rot which is caused by irvinia chrysanthemy so now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is a black rot so which is caused by ceratocystis fimbriata so the name itself indicates a block rot so so we can clearly see here that initial symptoms are dark uh, brown color spots dark to brown color spots initially appears on uh, uh, tubers so this spots enlarges coalizes they enlarges and they you know black color spots or black color fungal uh, uh, structures can be seen if we if we see in a microscope we can observe perithesia so so you know you know uh, uh, this you know uh, this type of uh, black color spots appearance of this type of black color spots can reduce the market price and as well as uh, uh, you know marketing ability so this is about black rat so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, propagal uh, i mean uh, uh, propagate the plants from uh, healthy stem cutting so the healthy uh, propagating materials can be selected for uh, planting and you know uh, uh, you know, uh, do not wash and pack the roots, uh, showing the uh, black rot symptoms. Once if you got, if you got observed the black rot symptoms, don't pack it for uh, no marketing, so that can uh, run out of your market, right? So uh, decontaminate the equipment with uh, you know formalin or formaldehyde, some other not only formalin or formaldehyde, some other you know like you know uh, cleaning uh, cleaning the equipment or uh, uh, intercultural operated equipment cleanly uh, so that that can escape escape the disease. So fumigate the storage structures and uh, you know application of uh, some protective fungicides also can be uh, one of the management practice. So coming to the next one, stem rot or wilt, which is caused by Fusarium oxysporum, Pharma species betatus. The name itself indicate uh, stem rot or wilt. So rotting of stem and wilting of uh, stems can be seen. We can see here once we cut open the see when we cut open we can see the brown uh, uh, brown color vascular discolorations can be seen on uh, on, on stem right. So the affected sweet potatoes if you see the upper parts affected sweet potatoes are soft and watery uh, and you know uh, uh, you know uh, this can uh, both observed on uh, roots as well as uh, in leaves also so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, unnecessary wounding can be prevented and you know uh, uh, import this is one of the most important control method and uh, uh, cure the roots uh, you know i mean uh, proper cutting of roots at harvest and you know storing of uh, tubers at uh, exact temperature of 55 to 60 degree fahrenheit and application of recommended fungicides uh, recommended fungicides at after harvest is one of the most important one and uh, uh, try to avoid the direct exposure or direct uh, uh, you know uh, exposing of uh, sunlight uh, uh, to large extended period or, or due to uh, I mean extended periods or to be uh, chilling out the fields can be uh, avoided the next one is the rhizophus soft rod which is caused by rhizophus uh, stolonifer we can see here black color uh, uh, fungal growth can be observed on uh, tubers right it's, it's especially happens in storage conditions we can see black color spots initially then we can see the black color mycelium uh, can be seen this uh, rhizophus hope you guys knows about rhizophus which can sub and cardamel all those things and the spores are easily blown out and it can also one of the reason uh, you know in storage condition what will happen this rhizophus spores are can easily blown out and if there is any uh, tubers which is there nearby it can also infect the tubers hope you guys know about the difference between rhizophus and uh, mucor where rhizophus spores are can be easily disseminates whereas mucor spores can't easily disseminates so due to the easily dissemination and discharge nature of rhizophus the infection may be severe or the infection may be increases in uh, uh, especially in storage conditions or you know uh, especially in moisture conditions once there is any little moisture can be observed on the uh, uh, tubers we can immediately observe this uh, uh, black color mycelial growth Coming to the management aspects, uh, carefully handle this uh, uh, potatoes and you know uh, most important method for uh, uh, handling and uh, uh, clean and green uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, propagation material can be recommended for this uh, 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 um, uh, disease and colouring of uh, infected uh, infected uh, tubers during uh, uh, storage and handle it uh, uh, very carefully during especially uh, in storage avoid excess amount of moisture as well as water on it.